Hey everybody, this is Kasu, and welcome to yet another mod review. And this time, we're going through Oceana Content. Oceana Content is a mod that adds a few new creatures, but more importantly, it adds structures that allows you to live underwater. So you don't really have to use the tech mods or not tech mods, sorry, the tech uh, structures to build underwater anymore. You can actually use this to build underwater and live your life as though you're underwater. Without further ado, let's begin. First up, we're not going to go through any of the creatures. However, we're going to go through the structure. So this is a little structure that I made out and these are all corals. And you might be thinking, oh, okay, so how do I cook stuff? Well, you don't need to worry. There's a coral stove for you to cook stuff in. A coral staircase, a coral door, and basically anything a normal structure has, they have it too. Yeah, and you might be thinking, what's so interesting about the coral stuff? Well, uh, first of all, the coral, you can craft it in your inventory by a, using just stone. It only needs stone. There's no new uh, material needed to create any of this stuff. And the more important part is that when you dive inside the water, or rather when you're near a home of a coral, like for example, like this underwater house here, I gain this buff at the bottom called Coral Breath. Coral Breath allows you to basically not need oxygen while underwater or near your structure. And the really cool thing is that, like for example, I, I made another structure here. I can open this trap door and go down. And unlike the tech structures where even though you're underwater, you are walk still walking around, it's like Subnautica like. This one is particularly different where you are even though you're inside your house, you are still swimming about. So it basically feels like you are making a house in space, so to speak. Or rather, just making a house underwater. And you don't have to put any stairs, even though stairs are, look nice and all. And if you have a fantasy of living like a mermaid, this is your best chance. And the other thing is this thing, the sleeping pot. The sleeping pot is basically for you to... It's basically a bed for you to sleep in. I, I don't know how my character got in, but you know. And no gods and man, now that we're done with the uh, structures, let's go on with the creatures. And starting out is this guy, the Brachiura. Let me go in front of him so you can have a better look. The Brachiura is uh, a giant crab. And honestly speaking, after seeing through its moveset, it just feels like a Karkinos, which I will show you what I mean once I go up to the surface. So yeah, the Brachiura, or this giant mud crab, yes, if you're a Skyrim player, you should have a bit of PTSD, uh, can jump really high, and it's, you know, just a mud crab. And uh, similar to the Kakinos, it doesn't walk sideways. It only can walk, uh, it doesn't, like, I mean, like, it can walk sideways, but it doesn't need to walk sideways. You only can walk front and back. So, left click is a claw attack. You know, depending on... I think it doesn't really matter which direction you're looking, you just use a random claw to attack it. Like either one of the two claws. Now right click is, even though the Wikipedia said to press and hold, uh, you just need to press it one time and you'll do a double claw snap attack, which will deal bleeding damage. C key is an intimidating screech, but by the looks of it, it's not a screech, it's more of a uh, claw slam, so to speak. So the the particular not particular the Wikipedia you need to take each of the information with a pinch of salt because it might not be accurate. Uh, even though they say C key is a screech, uh, it's a claw slam attack. So one more thing about the Bakura is that if you hold the radio menu, he can bury himself. And you can also can unbury himself. But problem is I'm not sure why when you're riding it, it doesn't they don't allow you to bury itself even though it's part of the ability. And yeah, the even though the Wikipedia said that oh you can press left alternate to like borrow and in different states it has different kinds of attack, it does not really feel like there is any. So they say that uh while in water while in water there is he has a different attack two but again it doesn't feel like it so yeah again this wikipedia might not be the most accurate of wikipedias as 
it says it there's a different ability, but from how I tested it, there's no different ability. So yeah, that is the Brachyura. Honestly, just a dupier looking Karkinos, and I would rather you use a Karkinos since it has more abilities. And one last thing to this, how do you tame a Brachyura? Well, the Brachyura is tamed in a knockout method, so not really sure how you're gonna knock it out. I, from my understanding, it might be the same case as the uh, Kakinos where you have to throw Catapult in his face in order to knock him out. Uh, so if anyone tries this mod and knows how to knock out the creature, please put inside the comment below so everyone can know how to tame this creature. And with that, I have come to the end of the Brachyura. Now, up next is uh, this creature, the uh, Bubble Fish. The Bubble Fish, as, as the P as it looks, look at that. <laughs> oh, this is actually quite cute. It's like Kirby, but you know, translucent. But uh, it's not as dangerous as Kirby because this Bubble Fish is a passive creature and very easy to kill. However, it if you do tame it passively, you have to tame it passively, it does act as a extra scuba tank. So when you pick up said creature, creature my god my the game just lagged for a bit if you pick up said creature even though it's a bit translucent and hard to find there it is you basically hold on um <laughs> i i did not expect the bubble fish to uh eat me uh so yeah the bubble fish basically gives you a extra oxygen tank. As you can tell from the bottom right corner, there's a bubble uh, icon with the numbers 285 on it. That is how much oxygen you have left. Uh, but apparently the way it gives you oxygen is uh, to eat you and you can use it like a sea moth in subnautica terms or a submarine in real life terms. It's, 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 really <laughs> it's really funny, look at that. <laughs> So yeah, that's the bubble fish. <laughs> Up next uh, on the list is this guy, the Baculite. The Baculite is similar to the uh, Koala Can, the, sal the Sabertooth Salmon, where it is not a creature that is tameable by normal means, you have to trap it to tame it. And it doesn't really do much, it honestly is just a normal creature. That is a, is a basically a creature for you to kill and harvest stuff from. However, if you do kill it, it's quite loaded. As when I just hit it once, you gain chitin, raw meat, silica pearl, and oil. Which are, again, it's quite loaded for one creature to have four uh, resources coming out of it. And yeah, that's the whole purpose of the Baculite actually. Okay, up next, we're gonna go to the more interesting creatures, is the Dugong. The Dugong is this thing, and if you know what a Dugong is, you know what a Manatee is, and if you know what a Manatee is, it's just a Sea Cow. So how do you tame this creature? Well, this creature is a knockout tame, and its preferred food are vegetables. So what are his abilities, or what can it do? First of all, let me wipe out the dinosaurs, like all the wild dinosaurs, because I saw that Spinosaurus. So, uh, I'm just gonna spawn a Triceratops in the water. Yes, it's an unfair fight. I don't care. And so, left click is a hit button attack. Right click is a harvesting bite. Which, I'm... Oh, it, it does bite, but it, it doesn't really do much. But again, it's a harvesting bite, so, yeah. X key, while submerged, will do a tail slap. Which... Uh, depending on the drag weight of the creature, uh, it based, not, not the drag weight of the guy itself, of the dugong itself, the drag weight of the creature, it will do different effects. For example, if it's against a small creature, it will be stunned for 10 seconds. If it's a medium creature, 5 seconds. If it's a large creature, it's forced to flee and slow for 10 seconds. And if it's a huge creature, it's just a slow for... 10 seconds. I'm not really sure how that works, but I can try out on uh, this Koala Can. It's probably gonna die if I slap it with a tail, though. Does it have enough HP? Nope, it's just dead. Alright. Uh, so, the stun, I'm not really sure how to test it out on small creatures because it will just die. Uh, however, let's believe in the Wikipedia that this works properly. And I'm gonna try slapping this particular. 
uh, Triceratops one more time if uh, I the game allows me to because there's a long cooldown on the tail slap. E yeah, I don't see the stun on this creature, nor do I even see the slow. So yeah, I'm not really sure how that works. And yeah, as the games, or rather the Wikipedia mentioned, uh, this guy can crawl on land. Yeah, this guy can definitely crawl on land. So if you don't want him to be in the water, even though it's supposed to live in the water, uh, you can pull him up on land. And one last thing is if you hold on, if you do kill the manatee, or rather the dugong, uh, uh, spicing out, and if you harvest it, you gain this thing called dugong steak. Dugong steak, even though it looks like mutton, uh, basically functions similar to mutton, where it's better than a prime uh, prime meat, but maybe it's lesser than a uh, mutton. So, not too sure, because the Wikipedia did say that our oh, dugong steak is uh, slightly more effective than a prime meat. So, not really sure whether it's better than mutton or not. However, you can try it on yourself and mention it in the comment again to see whether uh, to share with everyone that whether it's actually better than a mutton. And with that, we have come to the uh, end for the dugong. Next up is uh, this guy, the Medicalon. Um, don't knock your head like that, please. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, the Medicalon is, as you can tell, a turtle. And it's not really the big turtle. Stop knocking your head like that. It's not really the big turtle like the Archalon from Garuga, but a, just a medium-sized turtle. So let's try out his abilities. So uh, before I continue, the Medicalon is tamed passively, and its favorite food is Biotoxin. So very similar to the Archalon's taming. Again, I'll be summoning a Triceratops. So left click is a fight attack. Just a little standard bite attack. Right click is a crushing bite attack that deals more damage and topper apparently. And it also can harvest rocks underwater. And that's it for the combat abilities. However, the Wikipedia did mention something very or fairly interesting about the creature. So I'm going to test it out right now uh, and share with you guys. So uh, the Acalon, oh, the, the, sorry, not Acalon. So the Medicalon, when you press and hold E on it, you realize it has this thing called select healing abilities. And when you go here, it does not look like healing abilities it's just a choice of really random stuff so all of these are actually the materials needed to activate the medicalon's healing abilities and each of them have a different effect for example biotoxin heals itself for 600 uh he healing value leech blood heals the ally in a range of three foundation uh 550 hp Angular Gel heals allies in a 12, found, 12 foundation range for 20 value to a maximum of 400 uh, for a duration of 20 seconds as the previous two are instant. Ammonite Bile heals allies in a 6 foundation radius for 5 seconds for a total of 500 uh, HP. Honey heals allies in a... heals everything, apparently everything in a 12 foundation radius uh, for 350 in an instant. Sap heals a, in a 5 foundation radius for 12 per second, 360 in total for 30 seconds. And also it shoots 4 projectiles that heal around the impact. Organic polymer, which heals in a 5 foundation radius uh, and healing a uh, total value of 600, uh, basically 10 per second because it lasts for 60 seconds. And it also shoots a lingering healing cloud and lastly squid oil which affects enemies unallied and wild creatures uh, for a 12 foundation radius for a total duration of 180 seconds which prevents any medical healing effects for 180 seconds uh, now i'm going to test them out one by one so it's gonna take a while okay my inventory is filled with all this stuff uh, i'm just gonna put all of it inside this big guy and let's See how this guy works. So let's start off with uh, the first ability on the list, which is the biotoxin. Uh, to give you a refresher, biotoxin's effect is that it heals itself for 600 HP. So let me beat this guy a bit first. Okay, I reduced guy's HP to around uh, 930. So let's press X, which is to 
activate the ability. And yeah, it's uh, instantaneous. I just heal back all of the damage that I did or that I received. Obviously, I don't have to heal him. I can just act, like up my HP and it will do the same. Uh, it has a cooldown or rather all of these abilities or the healing ability has a cooldown for 30 seconds. So I'm just going to chill here until it can happen again, but I'll be skipping the next part. Next up is the Leech Blood. So to do a refresher on what the Leech, does, Leech Blood does, it heals a value of 150 in a radius of 3 foundations. So I'm just going to up this guy's HP. And I'm going to see whether this works. So just going to go right up next to him. And yep, it healed around again 600 ASAP. And it does have a cool little effect of splattering everywhere, similar to Ammonite. Uh, when it tries to run away, and thankfully it doesn't aggro anything nearby. Next up is the Angler Gel. The Angler Gel, to refresh again, heals, a, heals for 20 per second of a total value of 400 in a 12 uh, foundation radius. So, okay, I didn't expect that, but... As you can tell now, everyone is uh, healing relatively faster. You can tell to see the freaking life bar is moving uh, to the right fairly quickly. Now, next start is the Ammonite Bio. The Ammonite Bio, as a quick uh, refresher, is similar to the Angular Gel, except it heals for 100 for 5 seconds in a 6 foundation radius. As so I'm gonna try now. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? As you can tell, the uh, all Chronosaurus is uh, fully healed. But I'm going to raise your HP again to see whether I can test out anything else. Up next is Honey, which has an instantaneous heal or in a range of 12 foundation for a value of 350. So let's try that out. Okay, I did not expect him to just lift up like that. What the fuck? Yes. All these animations are quite hilarious to be honest. Now next up is Sap. Sap heals in a radius of 500 foundation for a value of 360 12 per second for 30 seconds but it also shoots a projectile that heals around the impact. So let's try that out uh, on this guy but I have to turn around and let's see whether this works. It doesn't seem like he's shooting projectiles. It, it doesn't really seem like it's working. Well, let's try that one more time while it's surface. Maybe it will show. Oh, okay. So there is a projectile. Uh, it, just, it just all lands over there. Like here. So the projectile is a curve or rather an arc. As you can tell from the top right, the set Archeon heal is uh, buff is present. It's just really hard to aim. Up next is the organic polymer where it heals a, for a total of 610 per second as the duration is 60 seconds in a radius of 5 foundation and it also drops a projectile that leaves a lingering healing cloud. So let's try that. And in this case, I'm going to be a bit lower to aim at this chronosaur. Oh, it, 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 it drops. Like, it really literally drops. Okay. I, I didn't expect that to, to drop like that. But sure, I guess. Uh, let's, 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 let's see that one more time. Okay. okay. So yeah, he literally just like... Pui, or like kapui on the floor, you know. And last of his healing ability is the squid oil. The squid oil affects, it does not heal, but it affects enemies, unallied, and wild creatures in a 12, ra uh, 12 foundation radius uh, for a duration of 180 seconds that prevents them from getting medical on heal. So I'm just gonna go inside this bunch of fishes and press X. That is very violent. 
But as you can tell, everyone in the radius has the Archelon uh, oil. So with the Archelon oil, none of them can get healed. As some of the abilities, for example, the honey affects all creatures nearby. So from how you can see it, the Archelon actually really, really helps in terms of trying to tame creatures and a lot of utility based items, a lot of utility, utility based uh, abilities as it can help you heal uh, buildings and stuff like that. Creatures knocked out tames if they are a bit too low HP for your liking and also you can prevent wild creatures from healing too. So yeah, uh, that's it for the medical on it and honestly and surprisingly, very interesting creature with a ability that Honestly, I feel I felt that Ark should have had, well, but not not to this big of an extent. But you know what I mean, like an underwater healer. And last of all is this guy, the All Chronosaurus. Honestly, the flagship creature for this mod because that is it's literally on their uh their profile picture for this mod. The All Chronosaurus, as you can tell, I have two of them. Is a creature that is tamed via knockout and its favorite food apparently is biotoxin but if you want to use cables you can use superior cable and for the for the all chronosaurus it you can ride it without the saddle but you also can ride it with the saddle and this saddle it's basically made of metal and it can be crafted inside uh it can be crafted here but it's a bit tad bit expensive it requires black pearls uh like 60 black pearls and 500 metal ingot for the more expensive materials to craft. So let's see how it works. So first up is his C key which is a raw. And yeah, the raw is a pack leader or rather this creature is a pack creature where the raw, uh, it's just aesthetics. But uh, you only can be used if it is in a pack. Now I'm just going to spawn a uh, again a Triceratops to kill because it's the easiest thing to fight underwater as it doesn't make too much noise. So left click is a bite attack which you know is just a simple bite attack. Right click however is a crushing bite attack which does gash. So now looking at his ability you might be thinking to yourself wait so it is a creature that has a pack leader buff the pack leader is the only one that can roar and when it roars the rest of the pack will roar with it and lastly it has a gash attack isn't that the allosaurus you are absolutely right the chrono or the all chronosaurus is literally just a underwater allosaurus which again should have been added inside the mod because we have mosasaurus which is technically a underwater giga but less scary and the rex which is an underwater oh uh, sorry not rex uh the megalodon which is an underwater rex so yeah the ochronosaurus is literally just an underwater what's the word underwater allosaurus and with that i've gone through everything from the oceana content mod and my feels about the mod honestly speaking really high my my feel quite hopeful for it as the oceana content actually adds in things that land creatures have that into the ocean. For example, as I said, a healer and the Allosaurus equivalent inside the water. And honestly speaking, the more interesting part is actually the structures in the game because the structure allows you to live underwater, which is very hard to find in, uh, like, allows you to live underwater early on in the game, which some people might actually want to do in Ark. And uh, definitely this mod works really well with other mods, uh, especially one of the few that I went through back then that is very ocean orientated. But it does have some uh, flaws to the mod, like the mod does have some flaws to itself, for example the crab which isn't really working as well. However, uh, I hopefully the mod creator is continuing to update this mod and will uh, promptly update the mod soon as it does have quite a bunch of other features that you want to put inside the game you can go check out the wiki for that and with that i will end this mod showcase here thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see all of you tomorrow in my stream for probably arc uh day i have no idea what
Bye. Come, say bye. Way more terrifying than the Alice's Rock. Alright, bye.